Hey girl, car taps are brought yes, to girl. you by. Don't say I didn't tell you nothing. Get over there and get you some of these ashwagandas. Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha gummies. Okay? Get over there and ashwagandha. That's how you say it. I'm for real. Look. You guys know that I love Goldie. Okay? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When they came out with these ashwagandhas, I was like, what the hell is ashwagandha? And then I looked it up. Wait. Girl, did I'm just playing. Listen, I love these ashwagandhas. Look, this is how they look. And they literally taste like a gummy vitamin. They're delicious. But trust me, do not take these like candy. Okay? And if you tired and you don't feel good and you need to sleep and you're tired and you're looking for something natural, Girl, take you these goalie gummies. Listen, use code JOY, J-O-Y, Amore, to save you some coins. JOY, Amore. Don't take until you're ready to go to bed. Don't say I didn't ever tell you nothing. Get you some goalie gummies, girl. Don't say I didn't tell you. Hey, girl. Hello. Trigger warning, I'm going to tap on the screen. Hey, pretty girl, what's up? How you doing today? Listen, I'm late today. I know I'm supposed to call you earlier, but I'm late. I don't know why I always say that because y'all wouldn't know one way or the other how late I am, but I'm late, girl. It is, I'm supposed to do this at like 10 o'clock in the morning, but right now it's after, it's like 7. Yeah, come through one shoulder. Come through. Period. Okay. But, hello, beautiful. Hello. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome, 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 welcome. My name is Joy. If you are new, if you are not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and making my car chats literally the number one for the YouTube algorithm. You guys come through. You watch all the way from beginning to the end. You don't skip around. You comment. You like, share, and you subscribe. You guys really love these car chats. Now, the thing about it that's crazy, girl... Is it seems as though <laughs> people get so angry. I thought that with me trying on clothes, people was angry, girl. People are real angry when you have a strong opinion. But listen, I just want to say really quick, thank you so much. Shout out to the Queendom. The Queendom is the number one best. Listen, you guys are the number one best people on the internet. Off the internet. You queens come through with the best comments. Some of you are just, I feel like y'all like my lost relatives. I love you guys. Welcome. Thank you so much for smacking and tossing around, flipping, rubbing down that um, like button. Thank you so much for sharing. <coughs> and girl, you know I done found some low sugar low calorie orange juice and it's not bad it's pretty good you know when you wear it with your glucose you can't have all that damn sugar that's really really good but anyway welcome thank you so much for tuning in girl let me give you the update let me give you the update about what's going on with all of the repairs that need to be done to the house so i was in the hospital I didn't tell you guys, um, but I was in a hospital. I have not, that's what this, this car chat is going to be like, it's going to be pretty deep. So if you guys like to see me laughing and living it up and having fun, you know, going out and if, if you know, seeing me live my life really makes you happy, then these car chats are not for you. Car chats are like, you and I are sitting back, relaxing. We having a conversation, right? And nine times out of ten... Girl, it got dark real quick. Nine times out of ten, we having these conversations because it's like the end of, the, the end of our day. We had a stressful day. We want to come together. Really? We had a stressful day. We want to come together and just talk. You know what I'm saying? 
So if you're looking for more of the funny me or you're looking for me dressed up funny, check out my trial homes. I will put a link right here and you will see nothing but fat girl gold. Okay, you will see me trying on clothes. You will see me in my regalia with my lashes and all of that hair, all of that. Click here and you will see all of that, okay? These car chats ain't about that, girl. We just talking, I'm talking amongst friends, right? And family. Um, but if you want to become to a part of the family, you are welcome. All you have to do is hit subscribe and hit like and put your hearts up, girl. That's it. Anyway, so girl, let me tell you what happened. So I was in the hospital. I had been sick. I had not been feeling well and had been sick since probably April or May is when I start feeling really, really bad. But something that I did that I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more into that. Don't let me forget, but I'm gonna get more into that. Anyway, the people came, right? So well let me let me back up. And I'm gonna post everything just so that way y'all can see what I've been doing. So Friday comes around, right? The people came. I told y'all he came. He carried that damn snake through my living room and tried to carry it through my kitchen. I flipped out. He left. He said that he was gonna come back to fix the rest of the stuff that was wrong with the house, right? So he tells me that the toilet is working. That's the first guy, right? Okay, so he leaves, everything is everything. The next day, I go in there. Now mind you, he scheduled an appointment without talking to me. He never once confirmed, I work from home. And the way that my work goes is that a lot of times we have QA. And you have to have a certain percentage of your QA. You also get metrics and you get bonuses accord like uh, like you get uh, I'm what at my job, I'm high performer. Okay? So at my job, I'm ranked in the top one percent. When you're ranked in the top one percent, you get a what's called an elite boast bonus. But the elite it changes because it just depends on how everybody else in your service group like i'm in multi-product okay multi -pro damn i'm giving it away i was in, i'm in multi-product multi-product is homeowners renters it's more than just certain types of insurance anyway and in order for you to maintain your my elite status it's going to depend on what everybody else does you know what I mean? So you just have to be the top. So like one month, you may need a 90% to be the top. The next month, you may need a 76%. It just depends on what the group does as a whole. But one of those metrics is QA. And when you get in QA, that and your calls are being reviewed, your cases are being reviewed, um, sometimes you get audited, and you cannot have no dogs bark. That's one of the things that will come up in your audit. Like, you cannot have excessive background noise like so you can't have people mowing the lawn and making a lot of noise tvs babies dogs i mean they give you a little bit of a percentage but in order to get that elite which means extra money because girl i don't care nothing about them calling it an elite because it don't mean shit unless it in order for you to get that top performer and that elite status that means that your qa has got to be your you know your audits got to be I can, like, I probably have been getting 100% audits for, like, I don't know, like, the last, probably since 20, 2019. But you have, that's because I soundproof my office. Like, I don't, you, you can't just, basically, you cannot just be coming here and be doing all that bang, 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 zzz, and all of that while I'm trying to work. And I just think it was very disrespectful for them to just show up and not schedule an appointment. They scheduled an appointment, did not tell me they scheduled it, showed up two hours later than what they scheduled it. Okay, boom. Walked through my house with the snake, boom. Then the next morning I wake up, I go to um, flush the toilet, the toilet does not work, it's doing the same thing. So I send them a text message, hey, Miss Barbara, oh shit, hey, ma'am, um, this is not working. I need you guys to please send somebody because it's not working. Okay. So she's like, well, the guy just came, um, yesterday and he said everything was fixed. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I understand it, but it's still not working. Long story short, 
she sends somebody finally after going backwards and forward she she gets me somebody out there right um and the guy fixes it within like five minutes he leaves no problem right okay boom she told me that this guy had already scheduled another appointment to come tuesday which was like the following week tuesday to fix everything including the toilet and i'm like well how can he schedule that when him and i never talk right so when she sent the other guy out i thought that that canceled the appointment for tuesday well lo and behold it didn't because tuesday i'm on my way out the door trying to get to a doctor's appointment right my doctor's appointment is at 12 45 and it's one of those doctors where you can't be late because if you don't well you can't be if you're more than 15 minutes late they cancel the appointment if they cancel the appointment or if you don't give them 24 hours notice they charge you 25 dollars so I'm like, girl, so he pulls up back in this long ass trailer in my driveway while I'm trying to back out to go to the doctor and blocks me in. And I'm like, who is dead? Like, what's up? And he was like, um, I'm here to fix the toilet and to install your microwave and fix your blinds. And I'm like, sir, no, I can't. I didn't know anything about this appointment. I didn't agree to this appointment. I have to go to the doctor. Mind you, my doctor's appointment is like an hour away. Girl, tell me why. He was like, well, so, like, it was like he wasn't understanding it. He wouldn't move. He's just sitting there. And I'm like, and mind you, he also told the landlord that he had been calling me and texting me, which was a lie. And I'm like, um, I called you, sir. And he was like, oh, well, I didn't get a, get a call. And then I'm like, sir, I have a recording of the message that I left you. And I have a screenshot of the text message that I sent you. And I have a video of me calling and texting you. He was like, oh, well, I got a call from you, but it was about the toilet being fixed. And I thought that was already taken care of. But I still need to get. Nevertheless, girl, 20 minutes later, I called Barbara, the lady that does my, um, that's over the, the property management company she's like joy you knew about this appointment um i'm on the phone with the um with the city and i'll have to talk to you later blah blah, blah. <sighs> girl i flipped out so i got so mad i said you know what i said i'm gonna leave the door open you can go ahead and fix whatever please lock my house when you leave right which gave me anxiety. It's like we are in the middle of the railroad. It's like, are people not realizing we're still in the middle of the railroad? You don't have no PPE. You don't have no mask on, no covers on your shoes. You've been going in and out of people's house all day. Are you vaccinated? Are you not? Like, oh my God, y'all. It was just so stressful, right? Long story short, tell me why I come home. I done said that five times. Tell me why I come home from my doctor's appointment after being gone all day. I won't even tell you all of the other stressful things that happen because I don't want to give you anxiety. But girl, tell me why I walk in and out and this is what I see. Nothing being done. Blinds all over the place. The microwave's there but not hung or fixed or anything. And nothing done. Girl, I'm, I'm over it. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm done. I'm not going to be trying to, these people are so rude. I'm just going to document everything like you guys told me to. I'm going to go ahead and call and get three estimates for getting everything done. I'm going to go with the median estimate. I'm going to get everything done and then submit them with the receipt because I'm done. So that's that. Just so y'all can tell y'all about what's going on with the repairs in the house. Okay. Outside of that, yes, I was in the hospital. I was sick. And I had to go to the doctor, okay? And I was in the hospital. And one of the things is that I have been sick since I had not been feeling well. And not feeling the way I wanted to feel. I had not been feeling the way I wanted to, be, to feel since May. April or May. But because I'm so used to it, I was pushing myself, pushing myself, pushing myself. <clears throat> so I started changing my diet. I got an even more stricter diet. I stopped eating crazy. I started exercising. So I'm exercising like crazy, trying to lose weight because in my mind, because I've been so indoctrinated to think that if you're fat, you don't deserve to be, to have your health. 
So if you're fat, you should always feel bad. And if you always feel bad, it's solely because you're fat. And even if you're not fat anymore, but you were fat and you still feel bad, it's still because you were fat at some point. Did you follow that? I'm just saying. Y'all, please, I'm begging you with all of my heart. And I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but if you don't feel right, go to the doctor. It's not because you're fat. If the doctor tells you it's because you're fat, go to a different doctor. I want to give a shout out to my brother because if it wasn't for him, I don't know what I would do. I got so irritated with him because he was like, Joy, when did you go to the doctor? Did you go to the doctor? Did you call the doctor? Why are you paying? And he's like, you're letting them take out hundreds of dollars out of your check every two weeks for insurance for Aetna, but you're not going to the doctor. Like, you're not going to get yourself seen about. And like, I have been preaching to you guys, go to the doctor, take care of yourself. Like, Even if you are plus size, let me just say something, you guys. And like I said, this is an unpopular opinion, but that's what the car chats are. For whatever reason, being morbidly obese, plus size, thick, um, being fat, being any overweight, whatever you want to title it, is the last known discrimination. We are the last group of people that it is allowed and it's okay and it's supported for us to be discriminated against in the terms of healthcare, okay? So if you have a person who smokes cigarettes and drinks beer their entire life, but they're never overweight, a doctor will lose their license if they don't perform life-saving surgery to the lungs and to the liver it doesn't matter that person's lifestyle they're still owed quality health care but for some reason that's not the case when you're morbidly obese i went to the doctor you guys i wasn't feeling right right so i went to the doctor the first thing the doctor says to me is well you're probably feeling that way because you know you're big and when you're big this 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 happens never took a test never um requested blood work never literally in the few minutes of talking to me the only thing that she did was listen to my breathing now mind you i have a severe anemia right i'm anemic anybody who knows when you're anemic you have breathe it affects your breathing when you're anemic depending on what type of anemia you have anemia affects your red blood cells red blood cells carry oxygen to the rest of your organs if your red blood cells are not carrying oxygen to the rest of your organs then you're going to you're going to pant now yes when you're fat and you're moving your big ass around you may pant if you're at rest you should not be panting but you may if you're a heavy person because all of this weight here is pressed up against your chest and your lungs so it's making especially my breast it's making it difficult for my lungs to contract and expand okay that's that's simple that's science however i have been overweight my entire life and i don't pant and breathe heavily so all of a sudden, I'm breathing heavy and I'm panting while I'm at rest. Not when I'm running around trying on outfits, okay? But when I'm at rest, there's obviously a problem. But because of the indoctrination and the fat phobia that we have, even in the medical profession, people will not give you the quality care that you're supposed to have. So what I tell you guys is, you need to advocate for your loved ones. You need to advocate for your care. Even if it is, there's discrimination in healthcare and health work, people play God a lot. And if you're not feeling well, you know your body. As a woman, you know your body. 
how many times have we been gone to the doctor and been you know they've done something like you know maybe you're a woman maybe you're not even plus size but you tell them hey i'm having pain here or i'm experiencing this problem and the first thing they want to test you for is a sexually transmitted disease wait a minute i'm not even out here like that right so what i would have to say to you guys is if you don't feel well and you don't feel right love yourself enough please i beg you don't just keep going don't start dieting and exercising when that's not the problem don't so that's what i did now you would think having this platform and doing what i do that i would know better girl no even me even i made the mistake and was like well i went to the doctor the doctor told me that i need to lose weight so let me start trying to lose weight i really almost did long-term damage to myself because something was wrong something wasn't wrong but i had a um an infection that was had nothing to do with my weight i don't have to say that i had an infection and i needed care and i needed antibiotics i have never in my adult life taken an antibiotic i had to have flagell which was given to me intravenously so for me sulfur based drugs do very well with me um as a child bactrim and stuff like that does not do good with me the sulfur is what does the best with me that's what it has always been as a child so that was not something that i could get from diet or exercise that was something i needed for taking my ass to a doctor to care about me but after i went through all i went through to find this one doctor because y'all i went through so much schedule one doctor's appointment schedule one doctor's appointment trying to find a doctor to take my insurance trying to find a doctor whose book was open who wasn't closed to me i got dropped by my primary care physician who because he went to, he went to doing medicare medicaid only patients i mean and plus i'm working a full-time job literally working seven days a week doing youtube going to school i'm gonna be honest i didn't prioritize my care i was a workhorse and i was listening to the wrong people and letting the comments and the things that people were saying well you're so fat this is going to happen to you you're so fat you're this you're so fat i mean i don't understand why people feel the need to constantly tell you how your health is failing and how bad you are and how disgust i mean y'all it's just it's crazy please i'm begging you do not listen to people telling you that you should feel bad because you're big if you feel bad if you've got a fever if your chest hurts if you're breathing funny if you got pain or numbness go to the doctor if you can't find a doctor i know it's scary i know it's scary in today's with what's going on today but if it's an emergency and it's not something that can wait to go to the doctor go to the hospital and if they send you home, if they taking tests, go to another place. Keep going till you find somebody to care about you and to look into you. You're going to have to be patient. Now, mind you, while I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital overnight. And the first set of doctors were horrible. They weren't listening to me. I'm trying to tell the man, listen, I can't have no CT scan or no CAT scan with contrast dye. I'm allergic to the contrast dye. Well, what you mean you allergic? Well, allergic how? Well, what happens to you? Well, how bad? Well, we can give you Benadryl. Well, we can give you a steroid by IV if anything happens. Sir, I'm here because I don't feel well. You telling me you're going to give me an allergic reaction so you can take a test that you're not even sure is going to show you what you need? <laughs> sir no <laughs> so the next so y'all i got so desperate i was so tired and so weak and so scared and wasn't feeling good that i finally when the doctor came in i didn't even notice that they had changed shifts like the 7 a.m morning doctor came in because i had been there since like six o'clock the night before hadn't eaten anything 
have been doing nothing but giving blood, giving blood, giving blood, giving blood. Mind you, I'm anemic, so that's a problem. Hadn't even drank no water. I had to go NPO because NPO meaning like you can't eat or drink because you don't know what kind of test you're going to have and you don't want to regurgitate while you're taking the test. <clears throat> so my doctor basically left, didn't say goodbye, good night, nothing. The morning doctor came on and was like, and I told him, I was like, please, sir, I'll do the contrast diet. I'll do whatever. He was like, no. He was like, why would I give you that? He was like, you're allergic. And I'm like, thank you for reading my chart. He's like, no, I'm not going to give you. He's like, I was like, well, the other doctor said he was going to give it to me. Give me Benadryl. He was like, no, we're not going to do that. He's like, well, let's do this other thing first. Literally within an hour, he took that test. He was like, the next thing you know, he didn't come back. The nurse came and she was just hanging stuff on the IV. And I'm like, wait a minute, what are you hanging? Like, what's going on? And she was like, well, did the doctor come talk to you? I said, no. She was like, well, this is what's wrong. This is what's going on. She was like, you're going to have to talk to the doctor. But in the meanwhile, let me get your medicine started. Well, thanks. <laughs> And literally, y'all, I was like, I had, I didn't talk about it. I was still making videos. I was, but I didn't look my best. Like, I didn't look my best. I was raggedy. My eyes may have been crusty. I didn't look my best because I didn't feel good. And, but I wanted, I was trying to do my, do my best to serve you guys, even through what I was going through. And what I, the, the message for today is no matter what, I don't give a damn what nobody tell you if you never hear anything I say. I don't know who this message is for, but I love you guys. Listen, I talk to you guys every single time we do this car chat. I tell y'all, listen, we got to get this weight off. We got to. I mean, it's just what it is. And I know that a lot of you ladies know that in your mind and you're working on it. And I'm so proud of you. Some of you have even taken steps to go get you know got your sleeve surgery or you know you've gone and you're joining the gym or you've lost weight i'm so proud of you it's it's the elephant in the room we have to deal with it we got to be real we got to deal with every aspect of our lives we cannot just pretend like it's not like it's not real and like it's not something that we have to deal with but we also don't allow other people to weaponize do you understand what I'm saying? Please hear me. We're not letting other people weaponize it either, right? But I want you guys to take care of yourself. If somebody, if you know your body and all of a sudden you don't have no period and you know every damn month, you know you ain't hunching, you know you ain't out here doing it, right? Maybe you is. That ain't my business. But you know that there's no potential of you being pregnant and all of a sudden your period just stopped and you know something is wrong i don't care if you're 300 pounds 400 pounds i don't care if you're if your back is hurting or you got pains in your arms or you're not feeling good are you lethargic or you lost your appetite this is your body giving you a signal i don't give a damn how big or small you are something's going on right take carry your ass to the hospital or the doctor's office call the doctor they got doc doc i think it's called they got um oh what's the other one y'all put them down below if you know what i'm talking about teledoc that's what it's called they got teledoc establish yourself with the primary care physician and then ask them hey listen i'm not comfortable bringing my ass in now because y'all got it's roro out here and you know can you see me through teledoc we got our phones we do all kind of stuff on our phones right please i'm begging y'all i'm i'm a hypocrite in this instance because i let what people say get to me and i'm thinking okay let me start exercising so i literally was exercising and pa almost passing out and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so big, I can't get around. And that had nothing to do with it. And I'm like, why am I breathing heavy? Why am I panting? My hemoglobin, I'm going to see if I can post. Oh, I'm going to post my hemoglobin up here so y'all can see. I think I have it when it, I don't know if I have it when it was at its lowest or if I have it after they had given me 
um what i needed to get it back up listen my magnesium was low my magnesium was so low like all of my stuff was low my hemoglobin was low like lower than normal like low 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 they did a full um rainbow on me and y'all y'all ladies that's in the medical field y'all know they did a full um rainbow on me and my blood work came back my hemoglobin was so low the doctor was like how are you like he was like why are you just not why did you let it get this bad and i was like man the roro is out here i was scared i tried to go to the doctor i tried but i couldn't get a doctor and he was just shaking his head he was like ma'am please he was like no don't he was like please you cannot do that and i was like well i you know what can i say what can i say i had let things get too bad my ph was too high he me was too low it was just so many things that you know were all a problem and of course if you're morbidly obese right or if you're overweight or if you're not properly let's not let's not let's leave the weight out of it okay if you're not properly putting your body first and listening to your body and taking time for yourself right then we know that it may not be functioning properly or it may be functioning in overdrive for so long that it messes us up and i just want when you listen to me I want you to know how important you are. I know that this is a real ass conversation. And sometimes my mama used to say a hit dog will holler. I know sometimes some of the shit I talk about, I'm very abrasive. And sometimes it's not palatable for most people because of the way that I look and the way that I'm giving you the information. But I pray that you will listen to what I'm saying and take what I'm saying to heart please if you don't feel good go to the doctor schedule you a doctor's appointment today okay i know you at work when you log in you done clocked in that little five minutes that or 15 minutes or however long they give you a read time or ox time or whatever take that ox time okay change your ox mode to whatever that you got computer problems it help whatever and call the doctor and schedule you an appointment please because y'all who gives a fuck what people say about this is listen people plus size people are not passing away because they too fat plus size people are passing away because we've been indoctrinated with that fat phobic bullshit that says that if you're fat you should feel bad and we're not seeking medical care when we do feel bad so yes eat your beets do your juicing make your smoothie walk your walk your 2500 steps do your your at home workout okay do your hip hop abs do your insanity do all of the things but in the meantime go to the doctor if the doctor tell you you're fat and you need to lose weight say okay great can you order my lipid panel please can you order my lipid panel please can you take my blood pressure reading if you can't get it up here let's get it right here i need you to do my blood pressure oh you can't get my blood pressure um can you get a stethoscope and do it old school please can you check can you please check my blood oxygen please ask them for specific things the lipid panel is your blood work they need can't no doctor look at you and tell you what's wrong with you and they ain't took no lipid panel because that would make them jesus and ain't none of these bitches around here jesus once and then also another thing that you can do is go to one doctor have the easiest one i don't know if you're going to lab corp or crest diagnostics wherever you got to go go early in the morning like seven o'clock six o'clock get your blood work done they have online portals now they have my chart 
and all different kind of portals listen i was so sick y'all and I, w I was feeling so bad at the time i was like sending my brother my my chart shit like this is what's going on this is what looks bad this is how it looks everything on my chart was green 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 hemoglobin red 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 and i had to look up what all the shit meant because i didn't know what it mean but i knew hemoglobin meant i said oh shit that's my iron and my magnesium double red i was like damn i didn't know and there was no amount of working out that was gonna make me feel better not in the short term so girl listen take care of yourself and take care of the ones you love and do what you need to do yes it's a lot of work yes we got to go to extra step but if you're not here how in the world are you going to enjoy the fruits of your labor i need you healthy happy wealthy fulfilled loved please go to the doctor schedule a doctor's appointment with primary care get your referrals go online google fat friendly doctor in whatever city you in google best specialist in my area best internal medicine best primary care best pulmonologist best cardiologist best endocrinologist that's the people for your, your um diabeticals Please, y'all, don't just let what somebody say affect how much you care for yourself. Going to the doctor is also wrapped up in your self-esteem. And I know that a lot of times when we stop caring about ourselves, we stop, or when we feel like other people don't care about us, we stop caring about our health and we stop caring about those things and we feel like, okay, we fat, so don't nothing else matter. Let other people think that way. Look at how they treat, listen y'all, look at how they treat anybody. If you too skinny, they treat you bad. If you get in blood, if you get in, um, if you get in BBLs, they treating you like shit. Let a bitch buy her an ass. If she want to buy ass and she got money to buy it, let her take a carry ass over there and buy it. Why does that bother y'all so much? If somebody want to change their body, it's their body. So mom, what I want you to do is I don't want you to stay fat. That's not what I'm saying to you. I don't want to encourage you to be morbidly obese. I'm not glorifying obesity. What I want you to do is to set a standard of care for your life that you deserve and stick to it. I did not do that. It, like I said, if it wasn't for bigs who cared enough for me to to argue with me because y'all y'all ain't seen y'all think y'all see me y'all ain't seen my worst y'all ain't seen my stubbornness or y'all ain't seen me get angry 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 big thing give a damn what i said or how much of an attitude i had or how aggravated i was he pushed me and if it wasn't for him i don't know that i would have even went to see about myself and that's not okay and i want you guys if you need mental health care go see somebody if you need physical health if you need um what's it called gynecological help go see somebody get your mri get your cat skin okay listen i gotta pay out of pocket so that means I can't go to Starbucks every day because I got to pay my copay. Listen, it's about to be open enrollment. Open enrollment is coming. Now listen, I want to tell you guys something. If you've had a qualifying life event, okay, most of the times, nine times out of ten, okay, let me say this. All of this information, allegedly, this is allegedly what I heard. I am not giving you advice. I'm not a licensed medical professional insurance. I'm not telling you. I don't know. I'm not an HR representative. But from what I heard through the grapevine, if you've had a qualifying life event, meaning maybe your domestic partnership came to an end, maybe one of your primary 
caretakers passed away. Maybe you, someone, your husband or wife lost a job or changed their job. If you've had a qualifying event, you don't have to wait till October to enroll in your health care program. You can call your HR representative and let them know at any time, hey, I need to change my health care election. Get you a, an HSA. Most jobs, that's a health care spending account, which on, earns interest and which will also help save you money when it comes time to taxes. Now, with an HSA, most of the time, your job will meet it up to 7%, 10%. Some of these cheap-ass companies do 3%, but they'll match it, meaning that you put some more. I think the maximum amount is like 2500 I would have to check. I don't remember. But I think you and you could carry over 500 to the next year. So don't miss out on free money. Get you a FSA, which is a flexible spending account. Most of the time they give you a card that you can slide. Sometimes they don't and you have to get it reimbursed, but you just keep your receipt, take a picture of your receipt, go to Payflex because it's usually through Payflex and submit it and you'll get your money back. I mean, for everything like contact solution to rubbing alcohol, period, pads, all that, you can get money back, okay? Um, if you go get COVID testing, it should be free, but for whatever reason, if you have to pay for it, you can get money back for that too. But get you a, an FSA or an HSA, invest in that. Tell them people you had a qualifying life event. Pray to God that they don't ask you for no proof of it. They shouldn't because that's against HIPAA. But if not, it's open enrollment in October. Enroll your ass in some flex spend so that way you got some extra money that's tax free that you can use for your co-pays so you can carry your ass to the doctor. A part of self-esteem, a part of confidence is feeling good and taking care of yourself and setting a standard that matters to you. Don't worry about what these hey nans people got to say about you being big. We working on not being as big, but in the meantime, we have to put ourselves first and take care of ourselves, please. If you don't hear nothing else I say, girl, please, girl, let me get low. Please take care of yourself, okay? You deserve to have good health. Listen, girl, I've been out here preaching to you for 45 minutes. It's getting dark. It's late. Um, Usually, I do these um early in the morning. I don't usually do them so late. But listen, I love you so much. Mwah! To the moon and back. Thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for your support. You are appreciated. Listen, if you have not already, welcome to the Queen Up. Make sure that you subscribe. Put your notification bell on so you can be notified every time I make a video. Listen, I'm trying to give you as much content as I can. As long as you want it, I will give it to you. So, thank you so much for watching, girl. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself. You're worthy. You deserve it. You're worthy of feeling good. Just because you're big don't mean you can't feel good, girl. You can feel good. You deserve that. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, girl.